So the Miracle Bookmobile has been around for five years and we are a donation-driven bookmobile, free books to the public. So we basically were inspired by the first bookmobile in Western Maryland, bringing the books to the man, not waiting for the man to come to the book. And so here we are today at the SCL, part of the Anarcho Cafe event. And these are all free. They're all free. Prices in the Middle East. It's called El Golpe. I did today was on the history of the anarchist movement in Los Angeles, focusing mainly on the Marconistas and uh, the IWW general strike in uh, San Pedro in 1923, and the repression of the IWW via the uh, criminal syndicalism law. founder of an organization called March Forward, which is an organization, a progressive organization of veterans and active duty soldiers. And we had a workshop here today about uh, fighting military recruitment and kicking recruiters out of our schools and out of our communities. We had great discussion about different tactics, different talking points, ways to both uh, convince young people not to enter military service, but also ways to confront recruiters personally, to fight them, to kick them off your campuses, uh, shut down the recruiting stations, and uh, drive them out of the community. So it's a great workshop, and we're going to be moving forward with um, even more counter recruitment work here in Los Angeles. Almost 100 years. It was coined by Ricardo Flores Magón, the Mexican anarchist who made LA his headquarters just before and during the Mexican Revolution. A hundred years before Solidarity Park, the Magonistas agitated in the old plaza area just a couple of blocks away. 
we're talking about the deep roots of Occupy LA. And in a city whose radical history has been whitewashed and forgotten, roots matter. Ricardo was born in Oaxaca in 1874. The following is an excerpt from Ricardo Flores Magón's actual file from Verlong Secret Service Company in St. Louis, Missouri. Agent Ansel T. Johnson, report part one. Dated September 5th, 1906, taken during group infiltration in late 1905. Do you know the editors of La Regeneration? Oh yes, I know them well, as I infiltrated them under your direction during four months posing. Hello. Hello. Uh, um. Uh, press officer for the North American Animal Liberation Press Office, and we're here today to talk to people about uh, animal liberation and to end animal exploitation. And we also serve as a media liaison to talk to the mainstream media about illegal direct action and why, historically and ideologically, people take action for animals beneath the law. My name is Yao. And uh, from Oscar Underground, we're here. We're, we're proud to be here at the Anarcho Cafe. Uh, we have a history with the anarchist, early anarchist uh, peace punk movement from the early 80s, from 81 to 80, uh, 85, from the band called Iconoclast. But we're here because that's the same ideal of decentralizing power. It's about mutual aid. It's about you know uh, knocking down the, the system that is that that, uh, that imposes beliefs and and imperialism on, on the rest of the world. And we're here, you know, to try to dialogue, try to come to an understanding, to try to. To, to, to create another world that another world is possible. This. When, when they went, when they would ask oh, a native, oh, who's your leader? Everyone was a leader. They only had the, the best, the skilled order to, to represent the circle. Okay, so there was already that idea, that idea was inspired people like Benjamin Franklin, who used, the first, at first the Congress was going to be called the Grand Tribal Council. So we had indigenous, we had, anarchism was actually part of our culture as indigenous people. So it was a small circle, we became an anarchist and then understood that indigenous people were always had an understanding of decentralized power. So anyway, this is our last song. I know we gotta go, Jake, sorry. We didn't cross no borders, the borders crossed us. And if you believe in the world with no borders, I want you guys to see the cross. service members and vets. It's an anti-imperialist organization. You know, we came today in solidarity with you know, all of the workers and all of the speakers and all of the you know, amazing people here um, to share that you know, there's an active rebellion internally within the military and to really try to you know, get our message across and unite you know, collectively with everybody to make as big of an impact as we possibly can in the U.S. military. So thanks for having us. My name's Ralph, I'm with the LA Anarchist Book Fair Collective, as well as Decolonize LA Collective, and we're here uh, wrapping it up at the Anarcho Cafe at the SoCal Library. 
Um, yeah, in my opinion, uh, events like this are absolutely necessary. I think it's important to be able to just surround ourselves and network with people that are actually living their politics, uh, radical politics. I think it's important to move beyond the rhetoric. I mean, complaints only get us so far, but this is where you actually see in action, in practice, you know, revolutionary and radical, you know, sentiments coming to life. Okay, we are wrapping up at the Anarchy Cafe. This was a uh, color stock. Stock flyers. Uh, we have, we didn't even spend a penny on this. KPFK sponsored the media, and also uh, a lot of different organizations sponsor it. And um, it's a free event. Even the vendors, people are tabling. We support um, DIY book publishers, zines, or uh, any other DIY uh, distros. So even the uh, people who are tabling, we didn't even charge them any money. Everything here is free, and we want the um, publishers to get known. A new piece that I just did, and it actually um, talks about the plight of immigrants crossing the border. And um, this piece is really special to me because I want it to be an homage to all those people that have died at the border that are unidentified, and to make it be known that even though um, we don't know about certain deaths and there's a lot of disappeared, but their spirits are still important to like respect and like understand that deaths at the border happen every day and that those people are real and they mean something. Hi, I'm Evie and this is Sakari. We're at the Anarcho Cafe and um, we did free childcare and I think it's really important to have childcare at radical events like this to support parents and to get the message across that these kids are the next generation so we need to do anything we can to have um, areas that are for them and for parents. Hi, I'm Breezy and I am a volunteer for the Animal Rights Organization Action for Animals. Um, we table out of a lot of events and, um, and do tours and things like that and I'm also a, a musical performer, do acoustic music, um, part of the radical community and uh, love doing this stuff. Hey, we're at the Anarcho Cafe. And we are Lala Bakies. All of our products are vegan, gluten-free, soy-free, low glycemic, complete protein. We try to be local whenever possible, and when it's not local, it's certified fair trade. Very community-oriented. 